today we're talking about um, how to kind of ask for what you want and need in a helpful way. Like we discussed the other week, if, if communication is, is going to be a big part of the game, then communicating the things that are going on in our head are, are going to be a big part of it as well. Um, I think it always has to come from a position of respect uh, between player and coach and vice versa. In order to approach that the proper way, it can't come from a position of why am I not doing this? It has to be more from a position of um, I I think or I would love the opportunity to give this a try or to show you that I can do this. Um, The best way to make a good first impression on that is to have a plan of how I am going to ask. It's going to be a nervous thing to do when we approach a coach or we approach someone uh, in a position of authority and and wanna ask for something um, because of the fear that they could say no or that we're not gonna be able to find the words. So maybe rehearsing what we wanna say before we say it, uh, making sure that we make eye contact while we're doing it. Um, Very important. We don't want to show that we're uncertain about what we're asking about. Um, I like the, I like, oh, sorry, Steve, between your words. I like your comment about respect because um, I think when we can't find the words to ask what we need, we can come off either very aggressive and be like, hey, coach. I want, I want to do this, right? And it's like that aggressiveness is not going to take you very far. And then there's the opposite side of that, of being like, hey, coach, um, yeah. I want to, right? So there has to be that eye contact and that confidence of, or just preparing of, man, I really want to play post today. So how am I going to say this? I would like to play post mm-hmm. because, and we like to use that because statement, or I like to encourage my players to use the because statement, right? Because if mm-hmm. I understand where they're coming from, yes. I can better relate or I can better help them, right? Yeah. yeah. No, I, I think that that's 100% right. Uh, being able to ask for something and then have the ability to explain the reasoning behind asking it of, I'd like to do this. And it's not just the reason of, well, I want to score more points or I want to be, I want to have the ball in my hands more. Uh, having a constructive reason behind it, I think is good, which ties into what we said before of, of having a plan when we ask for it, of being able to explain why we are making this ask. The other part of it is too, you have to be prepared that it's not going to go exactly how you maybe think it's going to go in your head and be able to adjust to that. Maintaining a level of respect is important too, because maybe it doesn't happen immediately, but it is something that when we start to talk with our coaches or other players, maybe it's something that begins to happen gradually. It maybe isn't something that isn't going to just immediately happen right away. We say, well, I want to play point guard. And the coach just says, great, here you go. But maybe this is something that, begins to happen where we get more and more and more. The best way to show that what we're asking for is something we believe in is if in practice, I'm doing the things a coach is already asking me to do. It's difficult to come to someone with a request if we're not trying hard in practice, if we're having a bad attitude in practice, and then all of a sudden we walk over one day and say like, well, I wanna play point guard. Well. There's other things we maybe need to work on first before we get to that point. So if we're giving our best effort in practice, we're being a good communicator with our teammates and coaches, and we're working hard in the drills, we're showing that there's an eagerness of if I'm going to have this responsibility, I'm showing through my effort that it's a responsibility that I can accept. So there are the little things that add up to making that ask. I feel more realistic. Of, of having it go your way if we're walking the walk and if we are, are handling it on the best way that we can by controlling what we can through our energy and effort and attitude uh, leading up to the ask. That's great points. Great, great points. Thanks, Steve. That was great.